Hey, uh, today I'm uh, switching stuff up. This is uh, not something I normally do, but it's kind of fun and it's that time of year. You know. um, I'm making some, uh, I don't know what they are, little Santas. And um, get this down here where we can see what we're doing. Um, so that's what, this is kind of what they look like. Um, just uh, little gnome dudes, I guess. And um, every one of them, each one of them is different. So um, I get these out of the way. I'm going to show you how I make them. Hopefully we can keep this short. Okay, so I threw, sorry, I wasn't organized. I threw a bunch of these cones, They're just like, uh, I think this was like, I don't know, quarter of a pound of clay, or I meant quarter, half pound of clay. Uh, just in a cone, it's got a bottom in it. And this was the, this one's like the worst of the bunch because I think I tried throwing them off of a hump and uh, it was just not going well. So that's, this one's one of the worst of the lot. So anyway, what we're going to deal with. Um, So first thing I do is uh, put some feet on the bottom and uh, some shoes that stick out. And I just start out with uh, some my bamboo, one of my bamboo brushes. I just kind of rock this underneath. Uh, and push the clay up and out of the way. So you get little, I don't know if you can see that, little places for the shoes to stick out. I put a stamp on the front, I don't know why, but uh, so that's on there. Um, so you gotta make some shoes. So I have found Take a ball of clay and uh, cut that ball in half using a needle tool. And that way your shoes are going <laughs> to, for some reason they look very strange if their shoes aren't the same size. So I guess that makes sense. So you can do your shoe any way you want. been making little tennis shoes. Well, that was kind of fun. So to make a tennis shoe, what I do is just uh, make a shoe shape and uh, put a ring around the outside of it for the, the rubber part. And uh, the front of the tennis old style Converse tennis shoe and then put some uh, laces on it and uh, and I slow down I guess so you know kind of far away aren't you? okay we're going to try and get this closer at the, sorry for that. Okay. There we go. This might work better. There's a little tennis shoe. Uh, with lace. Where's the camera? There we go. Got my hand all over the place here. 
good lord. Where's the camera on this? There it is. So there's the tennis shoe. Sorry, that was pretty bad. And uh, so I gotta make another one. Trying to hurry on this so that it didn't end up with a, you know, like a 40 minute video on making a Santa Claus or Elf. So again, I'm doing scoring a uh, little ball of clay here and uh, quickly making some laces in it. So you end up with a thing that looks like a tennis shoe. Okay, so I got my shoes and I've got my little guy places for his feet. Score that underneath real quick. Throw a little slick water on there and uh, shove the shoe up underneath there. So now his shoes are sticking out from under his, his uh, gown or cape. And so now we're gonna make a nose. So another ball of clay. Gotta to toss it down on the on the canvas there. You can make his nose any way you want, you know. As long as it looks like a could be a nose. So what I do is I kind of pinch the top into a nose shape. I pinch the bottom into a nose shape upside down nose and then I kind of squish it on the on there uh, and see if that's where it needs to be and I do a real quick sketch around the outside and take it off and then score underneath I apologize for shaking. I just went in and warmed up and had a cup of coffee. That may have been a mistake. I should have probably should have done a video before I had my coffee. So I line this back up and uh, kind of press the nose in the end of place. a couple of things to get it up in there. I have an old paintbrush here. I don't know what size it is. Number 10, I think. But the end of it's got a nice point on it. And I use that for a tool a lot. So I make him some nostrils with that. You have to be careful when you're making the nostrils that he ends up looking right. They don't really matter that much because I put a beard on them and the beard usually covers that up. But just in case. Then you have to do a little plastic surgery on him so that he he looks right to the side. So, there's his nose. Um, and I put a beard on him. These are all, all these balls are almost the same, same amount of clay. So I gotta, Ball of clay there. You have to just think of what a beard looks like. 
I kind of pinch off stuff for a mustache, the mustache part of the beard, uh, form of beard, brown beard, pointed beard, goatee, whatever you want to put on him. This doesn't look like a beard yet. But I've been thinking about trying to put a, a mouth on it, so I'm just going to push that through and see if I can make some uh, lower lip. see why this works. Uh, all you're going for here is the shape. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna texture this so that he ends up having a so that's that's his beard for the mouth. Mind up the shoe. So we shove this in here to see if it's going to fit. And uh, so now we've got to text. We've got to score this before we put put the beard on. So we put some slip water on there. Oops, making a mess over there. I'm going to slide this in here and kind of press it into place. And then you just kind of work on his beard until you like the shape you've got. I take a needle tool and uh, define the mustache. And then go put uh, bristle marks in the, in the mustache. lip a little bit so we need to put that back in put a pipe in his mouth or something. <laughs> Maybe the lip wasn't a good idea. Okay, so we got to get this side of the mustache. I'm going to 
it's that terrible. Anyway. There we go. So, there's his mustache and beard. There we go. So, he's not looking too bad. And we gotta get him a hat. So, I've just got a piece of canvas here. And I only use, this is like, what is that? Eighth of an inch, maybe? Two yardstick pieces of yardstick. I tear off a uh, piece of clay. I'm going to get all of the wrinkles out of it. It kind of might be too small. Anyway, there's that. Flip this piece over the top. Make sure your yardsticks are in close enough. This is recycled clays wise. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of marbled, but it's, I think that's just uh, some bacteria that's growing in it. So I kind of give it a rough cone shape. This will be the bottom of the, of the uh, hat. I'm gonna roll it up into a cone. So we got a little rough cone here. Bring him back in here. See that it's going to fit. Um, I'm not too concerned about what it looks like. I just take some slip water here. Give the whole thing a, a good bath. Slip that back on there. So, you know, the hat's on there. Then you can shape the hat any way you like. You know. uh, you have to just, you know, you're just doing a little bit of slab work here. I just keep bending it until it, you know, got a little cone action going. I've got a little wheel here that's got some texture on it and uh, go around the hat and then up the face of the hat <laughs> you may never see that again. There it is. Alright, so I'll get it back to the shape we want. And Got another little stamp here. It's just a piece of, you know, something I made. And uh, so it makes a little thing for the bottom of his hat, the tip of his hat. So I score the end of that a little bit.
a little dab of slip on there. Make sure everything is attached well because you know this isn't the best of situation. So okay, so real quick, that was now when this dries, this guy gets a little you know leather hard. I'll uh, clean it up a little bit more. Uh, bisque fire it and then or I may go ahead and just uh, um, put some underglaze on it and fire it do a single firing um, but that's that's how you make a little Christmas gnome so um, hope that worked for you might enjoy those and you can make any kind of, obviously, any kind of uh, shape you want here. So, have at it. Make 200 of those and you'll be happy. I'll, uh, I'll be back. If you like this one, uh, kind of like and subscribe and, and we'll see what we can do from there. I'll keep making videos. Have a good one. Bye.